Hey, welcome to this edition of Thrive. As always, I hope it finds you well, especially if you're here in Wellington with the southerly blowing through, where it's wet, it's cold, it's miserable, but hopefully you're safe and warm inside. You know, the, uh, the older I get, the more I've come to realize that the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of people live with some kind of fear. I'm not talking about fears like uh, the fear of heights or the fear of spiders or the fear of going outside. I'm talking about personal fears, fears like being rejected. Uh, do I measure up? Am I, am I up to this task? What happens if I lose my job? Uh, what happens if uh, my kids can't get a job? All of these types of things. Some of them are low level. Some of them uh, climb the scale as we give more thought to them. But one of the things I, I've realized is that most of us have these types of anxieties, these types of fears in some way or another in our lives. And equally, most of us don't realize just how, how limiting they can be, how debilitating they can become if we don't address them. Uh, equally, I've discovered that often the, the path to our greatest potential is often straight through our greatest fears. Now, a path to our greatest potential is, is uh, only found by going through these because our potential is discovered on the other side. I think that's why Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 that we haven't received a spirit of fear or, or timidity. I think it's because God has fundamentally wired us to face our fears. I think God has made us to, to push through our anxieties, to push through our fears, uh, to to break out of the limitations those create in our lives because he knows that it's only on the other side that you and I truly discover the fullness of life and who we are and begin to live out of that. Now, I'm reminded of a story in, uh, in the Old Testament of one of David's mighty men. He was one of his uh, commanders. He was a, a notable soldier. And we're just told that for no apparent reason, one day in the middle of winter, he chases a lion into a pit and kills it. Now, we're not told whether that lion was being a menace. Maybe it was because it was winter and food was scarce. We don't know. We're not told whether the lion had been chasing some girl or, or chasing her even after him. We're just simply told that he chased it into a pit and killed it. And, and every time I read that, I think that is crazy courage right there. You know, that, that, is, that, that is courage. But it also made me realize that, that people with courage chase lions. They don't let their fears uh, stand in, in the way. They don't let their fears stop them from living out of the fullness of life. They don't let their fears uh, prevent them from being all that they can be. Many people have ready-made excuses as to why they haven't done this, why they haven't achieved that. Many people, you see, don't chase their lions. What's stopping you from stepping out and pursuing the dreams that you carry in your heart? What's stopping you from uh, stepping into opportunity, for creating opportunity? What's holding you back? What is it that's, that's, that's just governing your life? What's your personal fear? What is it that, that you need to face in order to uh, progress and begin to discover your full potential and start living out of everything that you want to live out of. And as you, th as you think about your, your greatest fear, as you think about the line that you need to chase down, you know, I want you to ask yourself this question, you know, how are these impacting my life? You know, how's this shaping the way that I see myself? How does it shape the way that I, I see God? How does it shape the way that I see, see life? You know, how, how does it limit my potential? And as you ask that, with, with, with that in mind, go after it. Chase down that lion. Chase down that, that fear. Overpower it. Overcome it before it overpowers and, and overcomes you. Because as you do that, what you are doing is you're making a path for you to pursue the plans that God has for your life. Because between you and fulfillment, between you and your potential, between you and the, the things that God has made you and wired you for and to be, stand a lion. 
stand fears, stand anxieties. And it's not until you deal with them are you able to move into everything that God has for you. So that's my encouragement for you. I hope it's helpful. I trust that uh, you'll go away and, and maybe think about it. And I'd love to hear from you about how you are pursuing your lines and, and what victories have meant for you as you have pursued them, gone after them, conquered them, and began to live out of a new version of you. So uh, until next time, God bless you.